Hey guys, uh, it gives me great pleasure to make this video because it simply reminds me of my days as a chemist uh, several years back. Uh, so one of the things uh, which often is done in a lab is to make or develop a secondary standard. Now uh, you can develop this secondary standard from a compound that contains the element or the contains the desired element. Now, for example, if you take, uh, you want to make a standard of lead, you could use the compound lead nitrate. Or if you're wanting a manganese standard, you can uh, prepare it from KMnO4. So, uh, making a standard PPM or parts per million solution is is relatively simple. Uh, the choice of compound is important uh, because it depends upon the solubility, the purity, uh, the stability of that that compound. I used to make lead nitrate uh, a standard of lead using lead nitrate. This is what I would be doing. So you have PBNO3 we need to determine the molar mass of PBNO3. So it's uh, lead is about uh, 207.2. Nitrogen is equal to 14.007. And oxygen is 15.9. Uh, now, since it is twice, you want to multiply this by twice and this by, since oxygen is already three, three to the six. So what you're going to be left with is 28.014. And over here, this is going to be 95.994. You add all three together it is going to be equal to 331.208 it is the molar mass now what would be the lead per gram and the simplest way to go about it is if you have uh, 207 0.2 grams of lead is contained in 331 grams, 331.208 grams of PBNO3. One gram of lead is contained in how much so it's simply cross multiplication 1 multiplied by 331.208 divided by the molar mass of only lead so ineffective it is always the total compound the, the molar mass of the total compound divided by the molar mass of that one particular element and that would lead to it being a, re a representative of one gram. So if I want one gram of lead, then I would need to take this many grams and five, nine, eight, five grams of PBNO3. So this is how it is calculated. If I need a, a representation of one gram of lead, then I would be needing this many grams of lead nitrate to make my standard solution. Now, how do you make a standard solution? It is quite simple. Uh, one part per million 
is equal to milligrams per liter. So also one milligram, keep in mind, one milligram is equal to 0 0.001 grams. So these two things are a must to remember. My grams, my value here are in grams. This is in milligrams. So I need to convert this to grams. So basically, I would be doing it like this. Can I write this clearly? So you can see the milligrams, I converted that. If you multiply this by 1000, then you have to multiply this by 1000 as well. We need to do that because we want to convert it into grams. So that's how I got, so 1000 ppm is grams per liter. So now if I take 1.5985 grams, technically it is one gram of lead. So I'm just putting here. But I'm taking 1.5985, I will weigh that many grams. And if I make this, to one liter, dilute it to one liter or 1000 mils, it will give me 1000 ppm of what can I say? Is it lead nitrate or lead? Definitely lead because that's what we have taken, right? So it's one gram was what we talked of. So I want to determine the lead content in this and it would be so the lead content by taking 1.5985 is equal to 1000 ppm of lead. My objective is to make a 100 ppm solution or standard standard solution so I'm going to put here standard of manganese only. So I want to make a 100 ppm manganese solution. So Let's go about doing it the same way what we did uh, earlier. So KMnO4, potassium is 39.098, um, manganese is 54.938 grams and this is 15.999 times 4 which makes it equal to 63.996. So add this up for the molar mass of KMnO4 and that makes it equal to 158.032 grams. So 54 grams, 938 grams, is contained, I'll just write that down, contained in 158.032 grams, therefore one gram is how much? So it's one times 158.032 divided by 54.032. 938. Essentially, we are trying to work out per gram of manganese. If I need to know, if I want to take and represent one gram of manganese, I would be needing to take 2.8765 grams of KMnO4. Now, we all know the earlier equation was 1 ppm. So one parts per million is equal to milligrams per liter. These is in grams. Now, unless you have a fancy balance which can measure in milligrams, that's fine. But typically, all balances are in grams. So let us convert this. So, and we also know that one milligram is equal to 0 0.001 grams. 
so we need to convert this guy so we're going to multiply this by thousand so you got to multiply this here as well so thousand ppm and you can also remember this thousand ppm is equal to grams per liter makes it much more simple so if I take 2.8765 grams of KMnO4 actually it is representing representing one gram of manganese and make this up to per liter 1000 mils I will be actually making a 1000 ppm standard of MN okay so that's what I will be making now our objective of course is to uh, make a hundred hundred uh, ppm if I take 0 0.28765 grams we we'll move one decimal this way and I dilute that to a liter the same we're keeping the same thing this will effectively reduce the concentration and it from a thousand ppm it will make it a hundred ppm solution a zero if you take much more less quantity and dial keep the volume the same you will make it a hundred ppm solution now if you've got a really good balance and if I don't want a liter you could now further dilute it one more time by taking 0 0.028765 grams and if you make this up to 100 mils only this will give you a 100 ppm solution as well here you're reducing the volume over there in this particular case you reduce from 2 to a 0 0.2 and if I want to do the dilution further in terms of the volume you still need to dilute that one as well because you're making it at a smaller quantity the ppm not notably will remain the same so just wanted to share this with you guys thank you